So go and receive this package from EDA. It's a fuel pump controller, MSD fuel pump controller that I had bought to install on my car. So today we'll do is unbox it and see if you get it installed, wired up. Maybe vacuum hose, connectors. This is going to be the connector for the controller. And it should come with the instructions. This is going to be the installation CD. Pretty soft here. Yeah. That's for the laptop. This is the cable to do the tuning, or basically the adjustments, the voltage adjustments, most of you. USB to micro USB. Really Velcro. Yeah, it got to be Velcro. I guess if you want to put it, if you don't want to drill holes in the chassis or, or anything, just insert it Velcro and that will stick it into place. The vacuum lung for the built in map sensor, there's a built in map sensor on it. So basically, as the boost increase, if your pump voltage will increase to help maintain the pressure when it high boost. Rather than the alternating, far enough the voltage in the high RPMs. So, this is the setup I'm using right now. G surge, um, hyper fuel, fuel pump, twin pumper on two separate relays for each pump. So, next are the business ones to figure out where exactly I'm going to be putting it. Um, I'm going to try to get as close as possible to the pump. I guess that would make it easier for running the wires and harness, etc. Should stick to the carpet quite going velcro right at the bottom. So it shouldn't slow you wrong up. Yeah. Can we get back off? Alright. <laughs> so I shouldn't go um, drill the holes in my chassis or in my floor. So I'm gonna decide I'm gonna put it somewhere over here. Shouldn't come off right here. Uh, let me see the harness now. Actually, we're gonna get some tools. So, rather than running wires directly to the battery, what you can do is run, a, run this wire direct to this. This big wire right here, so it comes straight from the battery. Basically, this wire just comes from the battery to go to these two fuses. These two fuses for my relays for the fuel pumps. So, before I forget, Remember people, always disconnect your battery before you do any electrical work. Or not in your end up. Not bad in a car. So you're gonna let you in so you can't see me. <laughs>
I just need to find a hole. Finish then I would cable tie them then nice and neat then. Alright, so this thing we crimp on, you see the original wire that come. Put a crimp on a piece of wire and a connector on it. So that will go on top the fuel pump. Alright, so basically now this one come from the controller, orange wire. And that is the original wire that was powering the fuel pump. So basically this wire coming out of here, this will be coming from the relay. From the relay, straight here, straight into the MSD. Out the MSD, into this big wire you now. This big wire will go straight onto the fuel pump. So everything plugged up. It's just the cable tie that nice and neat. Cable tie those nice and neat. We're going to clean up these wires here, put back on this cover. Alright, so the only one thing left to do, I'm just cleaning up. A little bit of running this vacuum hose for the map sensor on that to sound me on the engine bay, but honestly, I feel like I can just run it and displace it onto my map sensor that goes to the ECU. I feel that may be the shortest solution. Why don't I run it this all the way to the engine being through my firewall? Let me test it now and see what's going on. Either something will burn or something will work. One or two. Alright, number one. This is the original pump. Alright, that was still working. This is the booster pump. Alright, seem to be shot in there. You can hear the difference in the noise and the voltage. We install this off here and see what's going on. MSDV, install MSDV software, Microsoft Net Framework 4.0. 
install MSD view software. So two things come up: MSD view four, MSD review. I assume is MSD view four. Cancel it date for now. Let's go through soft here and see what's going on. So USB goes into USB. Make for USB. Something at the back of this. Yeah. So as soon as it plugs in, it connects. Product 2351, serial number 4335. So it shows you product, the product number, serial number, the online status. Alright, so if you click the checkbox here now. So the gauge cluster. set like okay, yeah so it should be a graph somewhere let me see ah so let me see when we turn on the pump volts 14.3 15 amps and basically that's a hundred so that means that's a hundred kilopascals it should be atmospheric pressure so basically line here now this red line is a hundred anything below this is vacuum anything above this is boost and it goes right up to 250 which is 18 that's about 21 pounds just under 20 21 pounds or so 200 is supposed to be 14 psi so basically up about 120 kilopascals is supposed to be at 18 volts so let me see this graph here should be adjustable so if we carry this up to about say this is 16 volts so our atmospheric character 16 volts pump should change so 16 volts correct 16.2 volts at 21 amps so it's working perfect 14 back down to 14 14.2 alright so basically you could program the voltage on the pump to where you want it to be in its boost range so you could actually add the other gauges in the checkbox also um, it gives pump temperature, the actual outside temperature. You obviously, can't run in anything, so everything to be equal there. The loads, fuel pump. What else we got? It uh, actually also gives the map, map sensor. Yeah, it gives the map sensor. Let's start now. Alright, so
So install complete. No problems, no leaks, no fires. So what we'll do is maybe try it again. So I'm testing this weekend. Do a couple of pulls, clean up the fuel map, and got it definitely running a little too rich with the pump on. So we then see if you'll clean it up. I'll see if we get a couple of shots or videos doing some pulls and post them in another video and hopefully next video coming.